Okay, so you have your holiday duck. So I've roasted this duck at 425 degrees with a fan on uh, for about 30 to 35 minutes. Uh, basically what you're going for is you want to see like nice golden brown to the skin, a good little kind of char around the edges, and then you want to just kind of feel in the breast to make sure that it's nice and firm, has some good springiness to it. Uh, that kind of tells you that it's done. So now to carve it. Um, when you come to the restaurant, you'll see us using a Chinese cleaver a lot of the time. Another good option would be a good firm boning knife. Uh, but I'm gonna do it today with a good sharp chef knife um, because that's something that pretty much everyone should have in their kitchen. Um, so that'll make it the easiest for y'all. Uh, you wanna go for one that is, is a good kind of thicker, denser uh, chef knife so it can stand up to uh, going through some bones and everything. So what we have here, we will start uh, down by the thigh and leg. So in between, if you look right where the thigh meets the leg, you can feel there's a little crease there. So I'm gonna just kind of cut right down there. This is after it's been resting for a good 15, 20 minutes. That means that you won't lose a lot of the juices. It has time to rest, but also it's a little cooler for you to handle. And then, so I'll just pull that down and then give it a little pop and then go right around that bone there. We'll reserve that for later. Then we just do the same thing on the other side. So there we have the thighs and legs off. Next we'll move on to the breast. We've already taken the wishbone out so you don't have to maneuver around that. All that you have to do is just see in the very center you see a little line uh, where the breastbone is. So we'll just start the knife on one side of that and cut straight down till you feel it hitting the bone. And then I'll just kind of use the tip of the knife and remove that breast from the bone. And there you have a carved out breast. And then the last thing is you just have the direct wing drum at piece. And you're just gonna kind of follow where the bone meets that, give it a little pull and then there you go. We'll do the same on the other side, carve right down that breast plate and then use the tip. And then the same with the wing. Then you can reserve your bones aside. You can make a stock or a soup with it later as you might have some uh, leftover pieces of duck go with like a duck noodle soup or something like that in the morning would be a great uh, use of your leftovers. So we're gonna start arranging on the plate. So I like to put the wings up here. I kinda like to recreate the duck back on the plate um, in its natural shape. So we're gonna carve the breast just in about five, six slices, something that are nice and easy to eat. With the thighs and legs, I normally cut it into either two or three pieces. It depends on how uh, small a piece you want, how many people you're trying to serve. Um, but you'll see where the bones meet on the thigh and leg. You know, you can kind of follow them up and like right in the middle there, there's gonna be a breaking point where they match. And then so here you have your leg and then there's a thigh and a breast piece or two thigh pieces right there. I just follow right down by that bone and keep that skin on top. And then we'll do the same thing over here. Just a little bit of a piece right there. And then separately while all this is happening, you've been roasting, uh, just reheating the roasted vegetables in the oven. Just about five minutes is plenty of time for that if it's still set to 425. And also, you know, we'll have the, the sauce that we gave you that you can just heat up on the stove top. No need for reduction or anything, just get it nice and warm. You can serve that on the side or pour it right over, but we, we recommend pouring it around it, not on top of it, because the sauce can sog out the skin and then you'll lose some of that crispiness. And there you go, have fun.